Good afternoon everybody, Crazy Connects Performance back again with another video. This time we're going to be uh, installing the RCA plug kit. This will be on a 2021 Matrix VR1 and uh, it's a pretty simple install. Really you've got two parts in the kit, the RCA adapter, the plug and a zip tie. For tools we're going to need just a small drill bit to make a little hole a uh, three-quarter inch bit and a, uh, a drill. That's it. We're going to start by removing the body panels. So we're going to remove the panels. So as everyone probably already knows, there's three quarter turns. One there, one here, one up the front. Remove the panel. Bring it to the back. We're going to put it somewhere that doesn't get scratched up. Then you got your two little hood latches, little quarter turns here, these little metal ones. Turn it once, twice, and then you're going to get over here. Right here is the plug. Press on it, separate them. Same thing when you go to lift this off, like we said before, these here do sit out, so make sure you pull them out like that. Lift the hood up, set your hood somewhere where it's not going to get scratched. Then you're going to grab yourself, like you saw in the earlier video, with get your little push pins out. And once you get it propped up, them somewhere where you don't lose them. So you're just going to remove this piece here. You're going to get it up. You're going to see there is a electrical connection here for where the back of the key is. So uh, we just use a screwdriver to pop it. Open that up. There it is. So we'll take it over here. Let everyone see. So you have uh, cutouts here. So what you're going to do this one. So what we've opted uh, for drill bits, we're going to uh, pilot it first. We're going to use a uh, eight inch. So there's already a center hole somewhat punched in the uh, plastic molding. So we're just going to put it right there. Just to create that. Three quarter inch hole saw. Same thing, we're going to set this in. Make sure you get yourself centered. Just like that. Get all your stuff out of there. If you want to, you can grab yourself a little file. Small, just to go around your edges. Get the plastic stuff off on the inside. Just to kind of clean it up a bit. Remember too, once you uh, put this piece in, it's going to cover up any of that uh, that's sitting in there. So, um, for this here, you can't obviously feed it through this way. So you got to put it in from the bottom. Stick that through, and then you just gotta make it so that it uh, fits up. Yeah, you're basically just going around, squeezing it in. So we took the RCA plug out of the grommet put the grommet in first just because with this in here it actually made it too hard it wasn't pliable enough to get in there so uh, in order to get this into the back side of it we just uh, took a quick little bit of dielectric grease small screwdriver like that and we just put it inside you only need a little bit then you can work this into it a lot easier 
if you can see there you just get the one side in just roll it in and uh, push it in just like that and then you can pull it won't come out finish like that perfect so then when you come back over here you're gonna want to fish this end right in through the center there if you can see there is the blue end so push it down yeah, and we're actually going here there is a spot right here it's actually mounted taped on to another one it says uh, RCA accessory power so this is where we want to end up so you're gonna get in there it's just the clip pop it you'll see it's kind of hard but you can probably see right there where the uh, plug has come out you can see the green it's kind of hard to my hands in there but uh, that's what you're going to be looking for. So then there's where we have fed our RCA plug in. So I've grabbed that from there. You're going to plug that in. So make sure that you have it so that the clip gets it. You can see uh, there's the like the female end right here. So uh, you can set that into there. It's probably hard to see. Yeah, it's going to be hard on video, but you can when you're doing it in person, it's uh, you can feel it. To clip in yeah you basically have to do it one-handed as well it's just pretty tight in there so once you clip it in you're going to be pulling your hand out grab yourself your zip tie that came in the kit you can see there where our wire is it might be hard to see but i'm moving it around there so that wire there we're going to actually uh, zip tie it right to your main harness that would uh, clamp to your hood when you clamp put it in so we're just going to go around that just so that it uh, doesn't hang down and hit the exhaust. You can see your pipe sensor is there as well. So just, you don't have to over tighten it or anything. Just put it on there like that. And then uh, we will cut that off quick with a uh, pair of snips. Yeah, you can see here we route it over top of this main harness to get to the uh, plug here. So then just cut that off. So you don't have it hanging down. All right. That takes care of that part of it. And then to finish the install off, you'll probably remember at the start, we unclip this uh, electrical clip here for the key, the ignition. So set this back up, make sure you push it in. Listen for the clip. So there you go. And you're going to place this down like that so that they sit in. Press it forward, make sure all your cables are in the right spot. And then uh, all you have left to do is uh, your two push pins that you took out. Push them in like that. Come over here after you can take a peek. There it is with it all finished up. So there you go. That's what it looked like all finished. Open that up, it's out of the way. You can have this orientation however you want. You can just spin that in there if you need to. Perfect, and then uh, yeah, we'll just put the body panels back on and. You're ready to roll. Thank you for checking out our video.